Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Quick Looks video. And the subject of this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule Collection Spindle in Comic Universe Impactor. And taking a quick look at the packaging, this is that all enclosed box that features some fantastic artwork of Impactor and Spindle right there. I love that. Impactor's opening fire, Spindle's rushing into battle, and that looks so cool. And I've come to uh, understand that once you get all these awesome boxes together, you can combine them into one cohesive picture. So I can't wait to see what that looks like. Taking a closer look at the box, of course, we've got the front right here. Back of the box shows both Impactor and Spindle in robot mode and vehicle and beast mode. And of course, Spindle is a fossilizer. He breaks up into all those different pieces. This side of the box is the Autobot artwork. This side of the box is the Decepticon artwork. Top of the box, Wreck and Rule Collection, Legacy, bottom of the box, words. So now, without further ado, let's get this box opened up and check out the figures on the inside. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Spindle and Impactor all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see that they do come with a sheet of instructions. And this is a very large sheet of instructions. They also come with another piece of the cardboard wreckers hammer. And this looks like it is the main piece, the hammer section of the hammer. You get multiple accessories with these two. Now these accessories are all wrapped up in some tissue paper, so don't throw them away. You've got Spindle's sword slash tail. You have Impactor's little spear gun, his main gun, and his cannon attachment. So let's go ahead and get these attached to the figures. Just take the cannon attachment, plug in right there for the shoulder. And with Impactor, he always uses his spear gun as a hand. So we'll rotate this around, plug that in there. That is a tight fit. Dang. And then we have his weapon here. We'll put in his other hand and we'll actually set impactor aside. We'll take a look at him later on with spindle here. Let's go ahead and give him his weapon. Just fit that right in his hand like so. And this pops off. And this is an issue that I have with Spindle. That so far I've seen everybody has had a problem with this with Spindle. The connections where the hands or feet for the dino mode just pop right off. I mean, that is hardly any effort whatsoever. I don't know what the deal is. I mean, this guy's been remolded so many times. It's probably some mold dead. The mold's old. So... Yeah, that's, it's kind of disappointing. Every time you fool with it, it just, it pops right out. You see how easy that is. Now I was debating on heating this up in some boiling water, squeezing it tight and then dipping it in cold water. But my buddy Larkin said that didn't work. He actually used a miniature heat gun to heat his up. Now, another option I may use is some pledge floor polish because I always seem to have pretty good luck with that. But that issue aside, the figure is not too bad once you can get him to stand up. Now, of course, Spindle here is a straight up repaint, remold of Kingdom Paleo Treks. 
as you can see very similar your big differences right here is the spines on the shoulder the chest piece here and if you look at him from the side he looks like a xenomorph where paleo treks the whole skull folds along the back so I bring this in a little bit closer so you can see the details yeah I like that I like the little face right there it looks like a tribal mask more his is just like a shield but the face for spindle is just weird he's got a blue visor and i swear that looks like buck teeth i just i saw that in the promotional images for the figure and that's all i see is he is a robot with buck teeth but other than that everything else is molded the same aside from the shoulder section the skull section and this chest piece right here so that is pretty much it for spindle so now let's take a look at him in his dinosaur mode or fossil mode and here we have spindle in his spinosaurus mode and i love the looks of this this is so cool as you can see the mold differences really pay off in this mode right here with the elongated skull, the fin on the back, and he's even got new arms. I'm gonna bring in Transmutate here, who's the same repaint, who is a repaint of Paleotrex, just so you can take a look at the mold differences, the skulls and the arms and the fin, of course. I just think this is so cool. I loved the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3. I hated seeing him take out the T-Rex, but still very cool dinosaur. Now in this mode is where you're gonna run into the issues big time with the feet that just pop right off. Of course, I'm talking about now, it's not happening, but when I went to stand him up earlier, they can pop off really easy, except now when I'm doing it on camera. So you do wanna be aware of that. It might just be the way I have him angled, but it's working pretty good now. Just be wary of those loose joints. So there you go, guys, there is Wrecker's Spindle. Now let's take a look at Impactor. And after I got him out of the packaging, I realized there is a lot more remolding to this figure than I thought. You compare him to the three-pack Impactor here, along with the Siege Impactor, you can see what I'm talking about. The chest is completely different, along with three different head sculpts. Looking at the three-pack version, you've kind of got a gladiator helmet with the nose covered up, where the new version is more of the Marvel UK head sculpt. I think that looks really, really good. Then you bring in the Siege version. This one has the War for Cybertron Siege cartoon look. So this is my least favorite out of the bunch. I love the UK look right there. And of course, that, that's my favorite head sculpt. Another difference is the shoulder cannon. The barrel is different and the top. There's no port on top to put his weapon. Now you flip the cannon up and that mold, that mold is completely different as well. So it looks like not only do you have a new head sculpt, there's a new chest and that's about it. Everything else is the same new head and new chest so i think it's really cool you've got these three different options you can use for impactor just depending on you know what your preference is i know there's a fourth impactor out i believe that was a netflix one but i had no interest in that two at the time was enough but i really dig the looks of this uk comic version impactor and he's got a blue wrecker symbol right there that I did forget to show off on Spindle. He's got one right there on his leg. So now let's take a look at Impactor in his tank mode. And here we have Wrecker's Impactor in tank mode. And I love this tank. This thing is just big, beefy, and badass. You've got the main cannon right here, the flat cannon there, the other pistol on top. You've got weapons here double barrel cannons on the side. You got the scoops, the cattle catcher on the front. I love the paint applications. This thing just looks so good. Now, of course, the turret can rotate just like the others. And I'm gonna bring in, this is Siege Impactor. 
just to show the main differences here, which is primarily the turret. Wrecker's Impactor has a much thicker turret due to the shape of the chest. This section right here is the chest section of the robot, making the turret a lot thicker. Now, my Impactor right here has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. That's why there's a little extra flare on him. But man, these tank modes look awesome. And of course, you can see the difference right there for the flat cannon on top. So all in all, really impressed with Wrecker's Impactor. The Transformers Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule Collection Spindle and Impactor really surprised me. This was the one set that I really didn't have much of an interest in. As I shown, I already have two impactors, but I did like the looks of Spindle here. I like the fossilizers. I wish he was more of a bone collar instead of, well, I'm just going to say it. Somebody on Facebook the other day said that these two looked like they were collared like peanut butter and jelly, and I can't unsee it. So I wish that uh, Spindle here was more bone collar than peanut butter and jelly, but hey, it's still pretty cool. So does the Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule collection Spindle and Impactor belong in your collection? Well, if you have the other sets, what the hell, you might as well. I love that there is enough differences with the molds to make them look like completely different characters if you wish. And I do really appreciate the Marvel UK look of Impactor. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a new super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo -ah!